meditating on the Supreme Lord and the Spiritual Master as we seek their blessings, their guidance and protection as we get maximum benefit from this evening's wonderful Bhagavad Satsang. Agyanati Mirandhasya Gyana Janashalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Yasyai Kanishwasita Kalamathavalambhya Jeevan Tiloma Vilaja Jagadandanatha Vishnur Mahansa Iha Yasya Kala Visheshu Govinda Mari Purusham Tamaham Bhajami Vande Brindavanananda Radhika Parameshwari Gopika Paramam Shuddha Ladini Shakti Rupini Nama Kamalana Bhaya Nama Kamalamalini Nama Kamal Padai Namaste Kamalikshan Yo Brahmanam Viradhati Purvam Yo Vedansha Prahinoti Tasme Taghung Hadeva Matma Buddhi Prakasham Mumukshurvai Sharanamaham Prapadde Bule Vrindavan Bihari Lal Ki Jai Let's all join in Bhagavad Sumiran As we praise Bhagavan, the Supreme Lord Shri Krishna, Shiva Bhagavan Ganesh Ji to bless us as we are about to embark on Srimad Bhagavat Mahapuran Katha Riddhi Siddhi Data Siddhi Sadan Varan Vajan Sumira Baramba Madana Kadana Kilalaku Ganapati Kripani Tha Gyan Khani Anand Bhavan Dehu Mohi Barda Varno Bhasha Bhagavat Jai Shiva Anand Kandh Bhutanath Bhav Bhaya Haran Bhakti Vishay Nirdvan Gaur Varan Mangal Karan He Braj Chand Mukul Braj Bhushan Dushan Kaat Hu Bhav Bhaya Phan 
चरण शरण ली आन कर जय 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 जगदीश सेवत शेष महेश अज महिमा अमित अभे वेद भेद जानक ने देहु मोही बरदा राधा वर यह वर सदा प्रेम भरी मुस्का नित चित में खट काट रहे मोही चाहिय कछुना और वस्तु प्रभु जात की बसी रहे मन मे बसी रहे मन मे यह बाकी झाकी सदा ग्वाल बाल लिए सार लिए लकुटिया गायन के पीछे पीरत ग्वाल बाल लिए सार मोर मुकुट शिर पर धरे कर मुरली उर्मा शीश मुकुट कटि पीत पट या छो नंदला बस हृदय मम निशी दिवस गुरु पद राज धर्षी गुरु पद राज धर्षी कहू भागवत की कथा जो सुखदेव मुनीश कवि परीक्षित निप अति सो भय निगम कल पतरो गलितम फलम सुख मुखाद मृत द्रव संयुत विवत भागवत रसमल मुहुरहो रसिका भुवि भावुका बोले वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय राधा रानी की जय श्रीमद भागवत महापुराण की जय बोले श्रीमद सदगुरु सरकार की जय आदरणीय पूजनीय भक्त समुदाय पूजनीय विप्र मंडली पंडित गण प्रिय भक्त समुदाय प्रिय सज्जनों महानुभाव मोस्ट वर्षिपल पंडित Devas devotees of the supreme lord the divine souls first let me say radhe radhe to each and every one and my pranam my humblest prostrations to all of you also to our viewers via social media radio etc tonight again we have fire 101.7 fm live Bhakti TV Live, U ninety seven point five FM, recorded and broadcasted daily from twelve noon to two p.m. Representatives Vishal Maharaj and multimedia creators for U ninety seven U U ninety seven point five FM. Want to say to all those people who, all those viewers, the devotees who are listening and seeing us via this medium, 
A very special Adhe Radhe to you also and my pranam, my humblest persuasions to all of you. Tonight we indeed uh, very happy. I asked Pandit Dev Mangal Singh Ji last night he was with us. He sang so beautifully and I remember Anjali. I think Anjali is his pupil and uh, she's uh, one of the winners of a competition. Um, so she's here with us tonight. Thank you very much for joining us, Anjali. Shanta also. We have our bhai Randy on Dantal and Dholak. He's been playing Dholak for us. We have also joined us tonight, Vishal on the Dholak. Of course, Pandit Dev Mangal Singh. And of course, Sunil Ji, a singer. I want to thank all of them as they enrich in the Katha. This is a jewel of the Katha. When we have Bhajan, Kirtan. Especially in this age of Kali Yuga, Kirtan, Bhajan is, is supremely important. In Srimad Bhagavat Mahapuran, in the 12th canto, it says, Krite yadhayato vishnum tretayam yajato makhaihi dvapare paricharyayam kalau tadhari kirtanat Srimad Bhagavat Mahapuran, 12th Canto, 3rd Chapter, 52nd Verse. The Bhagavat Mahapuran says, Veda Vyasri Maharaj is saying, That which is attained with through great difficulty in the age of Satyug, the very first age, <coughs> Satyug, through Dhyan, meditation on Sri Krishna. In the age of Treta Yug, through Yagna, sacrificial worship to Sri Krishna, in the age of Dwapar, through Puja, ritualist worship to Sri Krishna, is easily attained in the age of Kalyug, just by chanting the divine name of the Lord. In so many places in the Ramayana, we are told in this age of Kalyug, that we cannot do anything else except Kalyug Jogana Jagya Jnana Ek Aadhar Ram Gun Gana That in the age of Kalyug, one cannot do Gyan, cannot follow the path of Gyan, cannot do Yog, cannot do Yagna. What to do? Chant the name of the Lord with love, with devotion. Plus, it is wonderful to have Bhajan, Kirtan singing. This is so important, especially in this age we live in. Tonight's Katha again. Ek bahut advitiya anokhi Katha hai. The Katha tonight is very, very special. Very special Katha and a unique Katha tonight. What the Katha is about, we'll hear more as we go along. As usual, as customary, we begin with Bhajan Kirtan. A beautiful Bhajan written by Jagat Guru Tam, Sri Kipalu Mahaprabhu, who is only the fifth original Jagat Guru and topmost among the five. That is given a title amongst many, Jagat Guru Tam. In the books, if you have been given them, and we may have to share, we may not have one for everyone. Page 6, Bhajan number 8. Last night, we had Pandit Devdat Vyas Ji with us, who is the spiritual leader of this mandir. And he made a wonderful statement. He said, if you want Sri Krishna to come, then chant Radhe Radhe. Chant the name of Radha Rani. We don't understand Radha Nam Ki Mahatva. We don't understand the importance and the greatness of the name Radha. As I mentioned before, that even Bhagwan Krishna is chanting Radhe Radhe. Brahma, Vishnu, Shiv, Durga, Lakshmi, Saraswati, everyone chants Radhe Radhe. It is said that Sri Krishna when he would go to sleep from every paw of his body, 
the name radhe 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 will come from every pore in the scriptures it says that with one listen how special the name radha is radhe when a devotee one who truly loves bhagwan shri radha shri krishna chants the name radhe what happens bhagwan vishnu a form of shri krishna with four arms bhagwan vishnu walks in front of the devotee upholding sudarshan chakra his weapon the discus behind that person shiv ji walks upholding the trishul the, the weapon of shiv bhagwan trishul on the left hand side bai hat barun the god of water walks with his nagpash the weapon of varun dev nagpash the serpent nose and on the right hand side of the devotee indra the king of the devtas walks with his weapon the bajra thunderbolt in all four directions that devotee one who meditates on radha rani with love and chants absorbed in radha rani and chants radhe radhe has no worry in the world in all four directions such a devotee is protected vishnu brahma abishnu shiv varun indra such is grace so great the name chanting the name radhe so here is bhajan is saying radhe radhe bol sham bhaje chale aayenge when we chant radhe radhe with love devotion because shri krishna loves the name radhe so much i told you radha rani is the soul atma of shri krishna atma tu radhika tasya the vedas say who is radha radha rani is the soul atma of shri krishna he loves radha so much that someone chants radhe radhe shri krishna comes running he comes running और एक बार आ गए तो कभी नहीं जाएंगे यानी वन श्री कृष्ण इफ ही कम्स वंस ही विल स्टे विद यू फॉर एवर ही विल नेवर लीव अगेन तेरे साथ साथ शाम राधे राधे गाएंगे नॉट ओनली दैट व्हेन यू चांट राधे राधे श्री कृष्ण कम्स टू द डिवोटी सिट्स क्वाइटली नेक्स्ट टू द डिवोटी एंड ही आल्सो चांट्स राधे राधे प्रेम मगन तन सुधि and absorb in that love of radha rani shri krishna forgets himself he completely forgets himself radhe ju ke gun gan murli me ga gaaye when shri krishna plays the basuri his flute divine flute what he plays the name radhe radhe that's what he plays he sing in the glory of radha rani in the basuri seen that beautiful form of radha rani Shri Krishna falls on unconscious with bliss. Jai ho, jai ho, kahi kahi bhujan na uthai. Raising his hands up in the air, as I said, this is what we do when we say Radhe, Jai Jai, Shri Radhe. Shri Krishna also raises his hands up in the air, and he chants Radhe, Radhe, and dances. Do dhriga ananda jal bar saing from both eyes while Shri Krishna is chanting Radhe, Radhe. tears will flow continuously like a river radhe naam leke murchit hoye jayenge shri krishna loves the name radha so much that when he says radhe he falls on unconscious with bliss once only kabhu hasenge kabhu aansu bahayenge sometimes going into that mahabhav in the love of radha rani sometimes he starts laughing sometimes he starts crying tears flowing from the eyes lucky lucky rasikan man muskayenge the rasik saints those who have drunk the highest divine bliss of radha krishna they see something peculiar and they start laughing smiling what is the peculiar thing sham sundar shri krishna haven't gone into bhav he starts identifying with radha rani he starts thinking i am radha rani and he starts looking for sham sundar himself he starts looking for krishna and he starts chanting sham 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 
The secret to this is that Radha Rani is Krishna and Sri Krishna is Radha. Radhika Krishna Rupam Cha Krishna Radha Swarupa Kaha Sana Kumar Sangita. The scripture says Radha Rani is the form of Sri Krishna and Sri Krishna is the form of Radha Rani. Do not see difference in Radha and Krishna is one of the greatest sin. A lot of people put murti only of Shri Krishna. They don't want to hear Radha. Who is Radha? That's one of the greatest sin you can commit. Bhagwan Krishna gets extremely angry when you, you just you identify you minus Radha Rani. Without Radha Rani, there's no Krishna. No Krishna. It's from Radha Rani that Shri Krishna gets his name, form, qualities. Otherwise, without Shakti. Only Brahm, the formless aspect of Sri Krishna. No name, no form, no qualities, no pastime. Only Satta, existence, that's all. So let us all chant the name Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe Bool Shyam Radhe Radhe Bool Shyam Bhaje Chale Aayenge 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 Ek baar aagay to Kabhu nahi jayenge Ek baar aagay to Kabhu nahi jayenge Tere saath saath shyam Radhe Radhe gayenge Tere saath saath shyam Radhe Radhe gayenge Prem magan tan Prem magan tan Sudhi bisrayenge Prem magan tan Sudhi bisrayenge Oh Sudhi bisrayenge Radhe Radhe Gaayenge Radhe Radhe Gaayenge Radhe Radhe Bool Shyam Bhaje Chale Aayenge Radhe Radhe Bool Shyam Bhaje Chale Aayenge Radhe Juke Gun Gan Murali Me Jayenge Radhe Juke Gun राधे जू की छवि लखी राधे जू की छवि लखी बलि बल जाएंगे राधे ओ बलि बल 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 जाएंगे ओ राधे राधे गाएंगे राधे Radhe Radhe Bool Shyam Bhaje Chale Aayenge Radhe Radhe Bool Shyam Bhaje Chale Aayenge Jai Ho Jai Ho Kahi Kahi Bhujan Uthayenge Jai Ho Radha Rani Ki Jai Ho Jai Ho Kahi Kahi भुजन उठाएंगे तो उद्रिग आनंद जल बरसाएंगे दो जल बरसाएंगे वो जल बरसाएंगे ओ राधे राधे गाएंगे राधे राधे गाएंगे ओ राधे राधे बोल शाम हाजे चले आएंगे राधे राधे बोल शाम हाजे चले आएंगे 
राधे नाम लेके मूर्छित धोए जाएंगे राधे नाम लेके मूर्छित धोए जाएंगे कबू हसेंगे कबू आंसू बहाएंगे आंसू बहाएंगे आस हो राधे राधे गाएंगे राधे हो राधे राधे बोल शाम हाजे चले आएंगे राधे राधे बोल शाम हाजे चले आएंगे एक बार आ गए तो कबू नहीं जाएंगे लखी लखी रसी कन मन मुस्काएंगे लखी मुस्काएंगे राधा भाव गही शाम राधा भाव गही शाम 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 गाएंगे ओ शाम शाम गाएंगे शाम शाम गाएंगे ओ राधे राधे गाएंगे राधे राधे गाएंगे ओ शाम शाम गाएंगे शाम शाम गाएंगे ओ राधे राधे गाएंगे राधे राधे गाएंगे ओ राधे राधे गाएंगे 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 ओ राधे श्याम गाएंगे राधे ओ राधे श्याम गाएंगे राधे श्याम ओ राधे श्याम गाएंगे राधे श्याम गाएंगे ओ राधे श्याम गाएंगे राधे राधे बोल श्याम भाजे चले आएंगे राधे राधे भाजे चले आएंगे एक बार आगे तो कबू नहीं जाएंगे एक बार आगे तो कबू नहीं जाएंगे राधा कृष्ण भगवान की राधा रानी की अब सावधान होके कथा सुन लीजिए आज मैंने कहा कि एक अनोखी कथा है इट्स वेरी यूनिक कथा अभी अभी हम लोग ने उस कीर्तन में गाया कि जब भगवान कृष्ण मुरली बजाते हैं उनके बांसुरी बजाते हैं तो उस बांसुरी से राधा नाम निकलते हैं राधा रानी का गुणगान करते हैं सो एज ए मैंशन बिफोर टू नाइट कथा इज वेरी यूनिक यूनिक एंड वंडरफुल कथा वेरी विचित्र कथा इन दर्तन भजन विजय सैंग वन ऑफ द लाइन सेज that when shri krishna is playing the basuri his divine flute the name and the glories of radha rani comes from that basuri he is glorifying radha rani tonight the katha is about this basuri this divine flute the gopis we hear this word this name gopi who are these gopis there are many classes of gopis first you have ashta maha sakhi the eight main gopis the friends of radha the closest friends of radha rani lalita bishakha chitra tunga vidya etc these eight ashta maha sakhi as they are called main gopi their descension of radha krishna himself swarup shakti descended from golok 
There's none higher than them except Radha Krishna. There are those gopis who are knit to Siddha Mahapurush. They are Jeev, soul, but knit to Siddha. They are always God realized, eternal gopis. And then there are the gopis who have taken part for the first time in Maharas. They have become gopis. The rishis and munis from Dandakaban. When Bhagwan Sri Ram descended in the age of, of Treta Yuga and he was in banishment, while going through the Dandak, there's a terrible forest by the name of Dandakaban. The rishis and munis who were living there saw Ram, Sri Ram. And they fell so much in love with Ram, he's so beautiful, that they started loving him as a woman would love a man. They're not gay. <laughs> Somebody must start thinking the rishi and muni were gay. No. If we understand the true nature of the soul, Atma, we would understand. In Adi Puran, it says, Govinda Eva Purusho Brahma Dhyastriya Eva Hi. Govinda Eva Purusho. In the entire universe, there's only one man, Ek Purush, one. That is Govinda, Sri Krishna. And every other soul that remains, Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, and every soul is by a stri. Stri, if you know Sanskrit or even Hindi, you will know the word stri means female. That the soul by nature is a female. Because we identify with the body, this material body, we think I am man, woman, like this. But we are not the body, we are soul, atma. And that soul, that atma by nature is female. This is why the highest aim of the soul is to become a gopi. Even Shivji became, I told you the katha last night. Even Shiv Bhagwan became Shivani. To take part in Bhagwan, Krishna began to play the Basuri, calling all those who were deserving only heard. Not everyone heard, the gopis heard, the husband didn't hear. Nanda Baba did not hear, Yashoda Maya, no one. The coward boys did not hear, only the gopis. Shiv Bhagwan sitting on Mount Kailash, he also heard. He came running. The power of this Basudi, what the Basudi did, Sri Krishna, he stole the heart of that soul. Churalia. Chitku. Sri Krishna is known as Chittachor, no? the one who steals the heart. So with the Basudi, he stole the heart. And someone steal your heart, the soul, what are you going to do? Run? You have no choice. The gopis, they run. However they were, they run. One gopi was put in makeup, the yes, however she was, whatever state the gopis ran. So Shivji is coming, gopis are coming, in the middle they meet. Gopis have seen this Babaji, matted hair. Body smeared with ashes, white like Kyanfa, Karpur, Gauram. The gopi said, Babaji, aap kaun hai? who are you? Aap kaha ja rahe? Where are you going? I am Shivji, Shankar Bhagwan. I heard Basuri, I am going to take part in Maharas. Lalita Bishaka, they look, maybe he is. He looks like Shivji. I say, okay, pile age baba. <laughs> Maybe you are Shivji, but no one takes part in Maharas without Radha Rani's permission. Even, Sh even Bhagwan Krishna has to get permission. Before he begins Maharas, he goes, takes his crown, places it at the feet of Radha Rani, and gets permission. Oh Radha Rani, I want to perform Maharas again. Radha Rani gives permission. Then. 
So no one gets to take part in Maharas without Radha Rani's permission. If Radha Rani says yes, then it's okay, please wait here. We will ask Radha Rani. Shivji said, okay. The gopis went to Radha Rani. There's a Babaji. Her muttered hair, snakes in his body, covered with ashes, very fair, white like camphor. He says he's Shivji and he's, he heard the Basuri, meaning he's deserving. Only those who are deserving can hear. And he's going to take part in Maharas. Radharani, just as Sri Krishna is all knowing, Radharani is also all knowing, she is Sri Krishna herself. Radharani said, Yes, it is Shivji, he is Swayam Bhagwan, he is the Lord himself. Of course, he is deserving. But there is a condition. In the Maharas, there can only be one man, Krishna, Sri Krishna. Shivji, if he wants to take part in Maharas, even though he is Bhagavan, has to become a gopi, 16-year-old girl. So the gopis came and said to Shri Bhagwan, okay, Radha Rani has given permission, Agya diya, ya kar ja sakte, lekin ek shart, but there's a condition, you have to become a gopi, 16-year-old girl. Shivji, he also governs, he also has yoga maya shakti, that which makes the impossible possible. Not in acting, in real, he became a 16-year-old girl, Gopi. And that go, in that form, Shivji is known as Shivani. And he also was able to take part in the Maharas. That same Shivji, in the scriptures is written, that same Shivji is the Basuri, he became the Basuri that Sri Krishna is playing. Wohi Basuri bange. Everything that Sri Krishna has is divine. Whatever ornaments he has in his body, the more punk, that peacock feather, is not any just any peacock feather. Any garland he wears, any clothes, any jewel, everything is some great, great Mahapurush. Some saint from Golok has attained that great fortune to become the clothes, the jewel, something in Sri Krishna's body. As I said, even Shankar Bhagwan is the Basuri. So to sing the glory of this, one beautiful verse here, Baraha Pidam Natavaravapu Karnayo Karnikaram Vibhradavasa Kanaka Kapisham Vaijayanti Chamalam Randhran Veno Radhar Sudhaya Purayan Gopa Vrindair Vrindaranyam Swapadaramanam Pravishad Gita Kirti Tenth Canto, 21st chapter, 5th verse. Tonight that's a Katha, the Katha is come from 10th Canto, 21st chapter. 10th Skand, Daswe Skand, Ikiswa Adhyay, Srimad Bhagavat Mahapurana. What is the verse saying? Very beautiful. So first, it begins, the Katha begins, Bhagwan Shri Krishna and Balram, together with Balram, the brother of Shri Krishna, who is Shri Krishna also, Balram is also Bhagwan. One Bhagwan took two form. Sometime four, sometime he comes as Ram, Lakshman, Bharat Satrughan, Chaturubhyu. And this ascension, so in the last ascension, he came as Lakshman, and he came as a younger brother. In this ascension, he came before Sri Krishna, Baldu, as a Bare Bhaiya, the big brother. Whatever he said, Thakuji had to listen. So, Bhagwan Shri Krishna and Baldev, 
Balram together with all the thousands of cowhoods they have taken the cows to pasture to graze the gopis when they heard that Sri Krishna in the morning is going he's playing the basuri and taking the cows they all run from the house for the whole day they're not going to see Sri Krishna these gopis they love Sri Krishna I was discussing who the gopis are Words can't explain. They love Sri Krishna so much that even a moment, a moment of not seeing, when the eyes would blink, they would curse Brahma. Brahma ko gali dete. Brahma, the creator. Why would the gopis curse Brahma? Because that moment that the eye would blink, they would not be able to see Sri Krishna. It became like a whole, like billions of years for them without Sri Krishna. We can't understand. Sanak, Sanandan, Sanatan, Sanak Kumar, Shiv, Brahma, Udhav, they are bragging Sri Krishna to become a grass, a blade of grass, a creeper. A tree in Brindavan, so that when these gopis will walk, the dust of their feet will fly and it will come on them and they'll become blessed. Such is the position of these gopis. So they have run up the house, left everything, and they want to catch every fleeting moment. They look at Krishna until he goes, until they can't see again. Disappears in the horizon with the cows and the cowhoods. And now he's gone deep in the forest. And together with the cowherd boys, Gayo, Ghash Charne Lage, Asap, Gwalbal Baiti Hai, Balram Bhi, to Bhagwan, Ek Jaga Par Khare Hoke, Teen Jaga Me Tere, Tibhangi Lal, or Basuri Bajane Lage. So now they are deep in the forest. The cows are grazing. All the cowhood boys are sitting around Sri Krishna. And Bhagwan Sri Krishna leaning on Balram. When he stands with Balram, he leans on the right side. Daine Hatsa. Jukte. He bends to the right hand side. And when he's standing next to Radharani, he bends to the left side. So, with the one hand on the shoulder of Balram, he's playing, bent in three places, he's playing the Basuri. And the gopis, Yesunlia, the gopis, her, yes. Remember the gopis are deserving. Sri Krishna is miles and miles away, yet the gopis are hearing the sound of this Basuri. And hearing that, the gopis start to sing. They start glorifying. They start singing the praises of this Basuri. This is why this Katha is called the Gopis glorifying through song the Basuri, the flute of Sri Krishna. To the medium of song. And this is one of the most beautiful verse. Baraha Piram Natavaravapu. Karnayo Karnikaram Vibhradavasa Kanaka Kapisham Vaijayanti Chamalam Randhran Venu Radhar Sudhaya Purayan Gopa Vrindair Vrindaranyam Swapadaramanam Pravishad Gita Kirti Again, Dasve Skand, Ikiswa Adhyay, Pachwe Mantra. Tenth Canto, 21st Chapter, 5th verse. The gopis are singing. That Sri Krishna, Baraha, Piram. Baraha means a crown of peacock feather. Who wears the peacock feathers in the crown? Baraha. Piram is wearing. 
that Sri Krishna was wearing that crown of peacock feather. Natavara. Vapu. Natavara means? Nut is a dancer. A nut is a dancer. And when you put the suffix var after a word, it means topmost, the best. So Natavara, he is the topmost, the greatest of all dancers. Shri Krishna. One who is the greatest of all dancers. The gopis, they will just clap. Ta ta thai thai ta 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 thai ta ta thai, and Sri Krishna will dance. He's the best dancer. No one can top him. So Natavar Bapu, with his transient body, his transcendental form. So Baraha Piram Natavar Bapu. Karna yo karnikaram. And his karna yo in his air, he's wearing earrings made of a flower called karnika. It's a bluish flower, bluish, and it's called karnika. He's wearing this as earrings. Vibhradava sahakanaka kapisham. And around his body, he's wearing gold and yellow clothes. Golden. Beautiful gold and yellow silken clothes. Vibhradava kanaka kapisham vajayantim chamalam. And around his neck, he has a mala, a garland made with the vajanti flower. Randhan venu. Adhar Sudhaya Purayan He is playing that Basuri. Randhran means the whole in the Venu. Venu is another name, the Sanskrit name for Basuri. In the Venu, he is putting, what is he putting? Sudhaya, the sweet nectar filling with the Adhar, his lips, his beautiful divine lips. Imagine that the fortune of that Basri that Sri Krishna is always embracing with his divine lips. The gopis would get jealous of that Basri. What did he do that Sri Krishna always has the Basri on the lips? On his divine lips. Filling it with the div divine sweet nectar of his divine lips. Gopa Vindaid with all the huge group of cowherd boys. Gopa Vindaid. Randhan Venu Radhar Sudhaya Purayan Gopa Vrindair Vrindaranyam Swapadaramanam Pravishat. And he enters into Vrindavan. Leaving his, his beautiful footprints, his most divine footprint that Vrindavan is already divine. And yet he is making it even more divine with his divine footprints that he leaves when he walks as he enters. There is no difference between Vrindavan and Sri Krishna. It is a Vrindavan that we see with our material eyes. In that Vrindavan, Vrindavan, there's another Vrindavan that we can't see. Ah. Tusidasi says in the Ramayana. Jaki Rahi Bhavana Jaisi Prabhu Murati Dekhi Tina Jaisi Jai Ram Shri Ram Ja 
बाकी रही भावना जैसी प्रभु मूरति देखी तिन तैसी हाउ वी आर इन साइड वन वी मीट डिवाइन एंटिटीज वी सी डिवाइन थिंग्स वी विल सी इट जैस इज हाउ वी आर इन साइड आवर हार्ट आवर माइंड दस वाई जनरली वी डोंट बेनिफिट वन वी मीट डिवाइन एंटिटीज लाइक द सेंस वी हैव सीन गॉड I've told you before, not once, twice, uncountable time. Whenever God has descended in this world, a Shri Ram, Shri Krishna, etc., we were there. We, Jivatma, the individual soul, is beginningless, eternal, Sanatan. Uncountable. From beginningless time, we have existed. Suparna vetau sadhishau sakhayau. भागवत महापुराण इलेवन कांटो इलेवन चैप्टर सिक्स वर्स दिस इज एन एक्ट ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ द वेद मंत्र श्वेताश्वतरोपनिषद द्वासुपरुणा सयुजा सखाया समानम वृक्षम परिकस्व जाते तयोरन्य पिपल स्वादत्त नश्न नन्यो अभिचाकशीति श्वेताश्वतरोपनिषद चैप्टर फोर वर्स सिक्स भागवत इज ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ वेदास दस वाई दिस इज कॉल पंचम वेद द फिफ वेद दस वाई भागवत इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट स्क्रिप्चर इन सनातन धर्म most important nobody can understand ved so bira vyas wrote to bhagwan's grace bhagwat mahapuran which is translation of vedas for the benefit of us worldly souls bhagwan krishna is saying to udhav in bhagwat 11 kanto 11 chapter 6 verse that is exact translation of that bus ved mantra श्वेताश्वतरोपनिषद चैप्टर फोर वर्स सिक्स बोथ गॉड भगवान द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड एंड द जीवात्मा द इंडिविजुअल सोल आर ऑन बॉर्न इटर्नल एंड बिगिनिंगस नेवर हैड अ बिगिनिंग विल नेवर हैव एन एंड अनकाउंटेबल टाइम्स वी हैव टेकन ह्यूमन बर्थ वी हैव रोटेटेड इन 8.4 मिलियन फॉर्म्स ऑफ लाइफ अनकाउंटेबल टाइम्स डॉग कैट डोंकी वर्म ह्यूमन बीइंग ट्री ग्रास Devuta, uncountable. Until we attain God realization, then all is finished, and we don't have to come back and suffer. Or we have seen. People think, you know, if I see Bhagwan, if I see Shivji, if only I can see Hanuman, if I can see Durga Ma, I can see Sri Krishna. i will fall on unconscious with bliss na 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 we have seen uncountable time nothing instead of benefiting because we criticize we abuse whenever god and the saints come in this world that's what we do every saint every dissension of bhagwan because how we are on the inside gets reflected like a mirror when we see divine entities we are going to see them with all the defects and shortcomings just like us we will see div- we can't see divine these eyes we have as i mentioned these are what does i do the eye see what can it see material it cannot see divine so that vrindavan bhagwan has six things six things he has special yes uncountable but these six are special they all equal and they all have all the others inside of them naam roop leela gun dham sant six name of god uncountable name naam roop his forms uncountable leela his divine pastimes infinite uncountable gun his virtues uncountable infinite dham his divine abodes ayodhya vrindavan saket etc infinite uncountable 
and sant, saints, those who have attained him, infinite. And all reside in each one. Any one of these six we can take hold and go to Bhagwan will be exclusive. Any one of them is Bhagwan. Bhagwan himself became Brindavan. So there's a Brindavan there, that divine Brindavan, and Radha, Krishna, and the gopis and the cows are performing pastimes every moment. But we go, we wouldn't see. Unless we have become divine, unless we have become free from Maya, and we have attained divine eyes, then we will see that true, that real Vrindavan. Otherwise, you will go, ah, what's so special? People say, Radhe, Radhe. They ride in rickshaw. They wear dirty clothes. Somebody is smoking BD. Somebody. We're going to see material. You will see divine Vrindavan. But have the feeling when you go there. No matter what you see, if ever you go to Vrindavan, you go to Ayodhya, Mathura, any one of these places that's very special to Bhagwan, always make sure your feeling is correct. No matter what you see, don't let it temper what you think. People go, they go, they take tours, they go on trip, and when you come back, you hear them complain so much. Oh, this one was doing that, and people were doing this on the street. Why did you go, bhaiya? Don't go! Instead of benefiting, you harmed yourself. You committed naam aprad unpardonable sin either you go with the right temperament if you want to be a tourist and see then go to switzerland and england and these places don't go to india unless you have devotional spiritual sentiments what are you going to see in india what taj mahal that's nothing it's a, that's a it's called a what a, 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 so will you bury someone mausoleum that's what you're going for Go with the feeling. This is the place my Lord has descended so many times. He has walked the length and breadth of this place called Bharat, India. Every dust is divine. The first thing you do, you land the plane, bow to Bharat Mata. Go with that sentiment, then you will see the difference. Otherwise, you go as a tourist, or you're going to see people spitting, they're doing this, and then you'll complain afterwards. No benefit. Instead, actually, you're going to get harm. Be very careful. You can get the greatest benefit. <laughs> you can get the greatest loss, too. If you don't go in the right way. Have that feeling. That sentiment. And then you will see. So this, and this, so Brindavan is already divine, Brindavan. Sri Krishna himself has become Brindavan. Dham or dhami me bhed nahi. There's no difference between the one, the dham, the place of residence where that person, where that one is taken birth, appeared, and stayed, and the personality. They're one and the same. Well, you, if unless we have that feeling, you may have heard there's a place called bhakti dham, where the greatest saint Jagat Guru Tam Shri Kripalu Mahaprabhu appeared. It's called Guru Dham also. But if you don't go with the feeling that this Bhakti Dham, Guru Dham is the same as Jagat Guru Tam Shri Kripalu Mahaprabhu, then you wouldn't get anything. You wouldn't get the benefit, the right benefit. That feeling should be there, has to be there. You're going to now be, this is the place where Gaurang Mahaprabhu appears. You're going to, to Ayodhya. This is where my Lord Sri Ram, Sita Ram resides lived that feeling and you see how much more you're going to benefit so the gopis are singing like this the gopis are also saying wohi aak hai wohi asli aak hai jo bhagwan ki darshan kiya that eye is a true eye and has attained the fruit of having eyes when that person is able to have darshan of Shri Krishna playing that basri. They have attained, you have reaped the fruits of having eyes, the gopis are singing. That is the true eyes. Casting the glance. Wo do bhai Balram or Shri Krishna. 
जैसे कोई दो नटवर मंच पर नाचते हैं और रोए रोए श्री कृष्ण बलराम के रोए रोए से अनंत आनंद बह रहे हैं The gopis are saying that these two brothers, Shri Krishna and Balram, they wear beautiful garlands around their neck. Shri Krishna is playing the basri. They are two topmost of dancers, is two dancers on the stage, and the topmost and neck, the divine bliss is flowing from every pore. Infinite divine bliss is flowing from every pore from the body of Shri Krishna. Infinite. Are they the name Shri Krishna? Another name for Shri Krishna is divine bliss. Raso vai sahar sagvam hevayam labdhva nandi bhavati. Taitiri Upanishad chapter 2 verse 7. The Vedas say Shri Krishna is ras, he is bliss. Infinite bliss. So every pore of his body infinite. But again, if you don't have the right eyes, you will see Shri Krishna. This boy. They say he's a Bhagawan. He's Bhagawan, God. Ah, he's a flirt. Only flirting with girls. A cowboy, a, a playboy. All kinds of names you're going to give to him. And people did. Shishupal gives so much abuse. Are Shishupal. From the time Shishupal could talk in baby language, you know, it's called Tutula Bhasha. A baby wants to say roti, 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 he will talk like that. They can't say properly the word. A little baby is called totally bhasha or baby talk. From that time he started giving insult. He started insulting Sri Krishna. And Sri Krishna gave his mother the promise that the day, I won't do anything to him, but the day he gives 100 insults at the same time, then I'll, that will be the end for him. Bhari Sabha in this whole assembly. Shishupal started insulting and Sri Krishna kept smiling. But he kept counting. One, two, fifty, seventy-five, ninety, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-nine, one hundred. Sudarshan Chakra took off his head. Shishupal. There's only one example. Don't think when Bhagwan comes in the world that we are all going to fall down at his feet and worship and love. Bhagwan Sri Ram. It is there's so many Ramayan, so many Ramayan. And all of them are unanimous in the view that everyone who lived in Ayodhya during this, the descent of the Lord as Sri Ram, they were God realized. God realized. How then did that Dhobi, that washerman, according to Ramayana, who is supposed to be a God realized soul, accuse Ram, Bhagwan Sri Ram, for taking back Sita in his home after she had lived in the home of another man? Everyone in Ayodhya also knew that Bhagwan Sri Ram had put Sita to the pari Agni Pariksha, the test of the fire to prove her purity, that she was pure. Yet in spite of that, and in spite of that dhobi, how then, who is supposed to be God realized? And knowing all of this, how could he accuse the Lord? He didn't stop him from accusing that, that Ram had to tyag Sita, he had to give up Sita. And she was pregnant with love and kush. As Leela, <laughs> let's give you an example of how the world is. This world, this sansar, that's all we do. We find fault, we criticize. Instead of finding virtue and looking for the merits and the good in people, we will, like, we will get a thousand eyes looking to find a fault. To find, we have to find something wrong. 
this is one habit we should give up one of the most dangerous thing we can do is to find faults listen bhagwan shri ram says to shibari in the ramayan he is outlining navadha bhakti and he says ram siya ram siya ram jay jay bolo ram siya ram siya ram jay jay ram bolo ram siya ram siya ram jay jay ram bolo अष्टम जथा लाभ संतोषा सपने हुन ही देख ही पर दोषा बोलो अष्टम जथा लाभ संतोषा भगवान श्री राम इज आउटलाइन इन नवधा भक्ति टू शबरी एंड इज शबरी ए टाइप ऑफ डिवोशन डिवोशन भक्ति आठ अष्टम मीन्स एट इज टू बी कंटेंटेड वेद इन गेन और लॉस वन आई टेक टोल यू दैट इफ एवरीथिंग इज ओके वी आर वेरी हैप्पी वी आर कंटेंटेड Jai Bhagwan, Jai Hanuman, Jai Durga. And when everything is against you, when everything is bad, do you say Jai Hanuman, Jai Bhagwan too? No, we might curse, we might curse Bhagwan. <laughs> no, then you're not devotee. Devotee will say Jai Bhagwan, no matter what happened. Jai Bhagwan, thank you. I don't know what's good. That is best for me. You know. और सपने हूं नहीं दे कहीं पर दोषा नॉट इवन इन ड्रीम सपना मीन्स ड्रीम नॉट इवन इन ड्रीम टू लुक एट द फॉल्स ऑफ आदर्स टू फाइन फॉल्स माय गुरु वुड से यू नो ही से अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग माय गुरु जगत गुरु तम श्री कृपालु महाप्रभु ही सेड अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग एज लॉन्ग एज वी ऑन द माया as long as we are governed by maya we are material souls everybody is bad everyone is bad we have all the faults inside of us greed anger jealousy hatred lust selfishness all are kaag sund ji says to guru ji the same thing manas rog ka chukh mai gaaye hai sab ke लखी बिरलन ही पाए ऑन बिनाक अबाउट द डिजीज ऑफ द माइंड मानस रोग काग बसुंद जी टोल मैनी ग्रीड आंगा जेलसी हेट रेड लॉस सेल्फिश ही सेड देयर इज ओनली अ फ्यू देयर मेनी मेनी डिजीजेस इन द माइंड एंड एवरीवन है सबके एवरीवन एज लॉन्ग एज वी ऑन द माया everyone has all the faults but lucky biralan hi pae it is extremely difficult for the worldly soul to see how bad we are we can see how bad everybody else is and we'll complain and we'll talk about it but nobody talks how bad they are have you ever seen anybody start talking how bad they are hmm and what makes us not be able to see how bad we are what prevents us from seeing how bad we are something called abhiman ego pride the more pride we have the more ego the more we think <laughs> i am great man i am such other people come and meet me i go to mandir sometime they will come up swami ji i am a good lady i am a good man you know and i think in my mind so you are mahapurush you are saint i i don't say it, but <laughs> what does good mean as long as we on the maya so my guru says everyone is bad everyone that's why we should not look down on anybody else and see how bad 
Because when you do that, you just add more. Already we have so much in us, add some more. One, it is a proof when we find faults, we see how bad everyone is. It's a proof that I am very bad, number one. We'll proof it. And number two, we just add some more. That's why it's so dangerous. And if you say, I can't help but find faults, then let's look at our own faults now. Because once we're under Maya, we have all, it's difficult to see. Our pride, our ego doesn't allow us. But if we look closely, we will see how we are so bad. We're worse than the person I'm complaining about. And people complain, complain, complain all the time. Doesn't help. Fix our cell phone. We don't fix anybody. So the gopis. They're glorifying Shri Krishna, the Basuri. That when Shri Krishna would play, wo Basuri bajate. Hey. So the, those animals, etc., that are moving, jo chetan jeev hai, wo jar ho jate hai. The animals and the birds, etc., that is moving, they will become enough. Non, they will fall on unconscious. Bird is flying in the sky, and Shri Krishna starts playing the Basuri. The birds forget how to fly. They fall on unconscious. Animals, the deers and the animals, the lion, etc., they start staring. Without blinking, they become enough. And the trees, etc., they start getting goosebump. Horopulation. They start becoming chetan. The unmovable things start becoming chetan, conscious. They start moving. This is a strange thing that happens when Sri Krishna is playing the Vasu. This beautiful bhajan. I hope I have enough time. Beautiful bhajan that is expressing exactly what Bhagavad is saying, what the gopis are saying about in Bhagavad here. So in the booklets you have, please turn to page 51. This will give us a beautiful idea of this Bhagavad Katha and the flute, the Basuri of Sri Krishna. This Bhajan, written by Jagat Guru Tam Shri Kripalu Mahaprabhu, page 51, Bhajan number 95. When Shri Krishna, actually this is describing, when Shri Krishna was about to begin Maharas with the gopis, so standing on the bank of the Yamuna, he started playing the Basuri. Dhuni suni bhidi hari har sabar mohe chutyo gyanin. Here in that Basuri, Brahma, Vishnu, Shiv, they all, they all become enchanted. I already gave the katha of what happened to Shivji. The gyanis, they've came out like Sanak Sanandan Sanat and Sanak Kumar, great gyanis. They came out, they, they forgot their samadhi. Here in, they became enchanted. Jangam jiva bhaye jar sigare jar jangam sunitan. Here in, I just told you that. The birds, etc. Jangam jeev means chetan, moving. The birds, the animals, they became enough. Jar, non, the birds forgot to fly, they fell on unconscious. The animals, they stood like stone, like statues. And the unmovable, the jar jeev, the trees, etc. They started getting goosebumps, etc. They became jangam. Jo jai sahi tai sahi uthi dhaye gopi na taj kulkaan. The gopis, I told you deserving, only the deserving ones. The gopis are deserving. However they were. A gopi is putting on bracelets in her hand. She heard Basuri, she started putting the bracelet in the feet. Like gunguru, like anklets. Where to put nose ring, she's put an earring, and where to put earring, she's put a nose ring. Everything, gaffar sapar. Because she's lost her mind. She, Krishna, has stolen the mind. She can't think, what, but all she starts running. However, she is. Nabataragan chandra dik kaha nij nij gati hi bhulan. The sun, the moon, 
the stars they stop moving actually in bhagavad mahapuran it is said that maharas went on for one brahma ratri it looks like one night what is the brahma ratri one night of brahma brahma's night and our night the big difference one night of brahma 12 hours is it is called one kalp one kalp 14 manvantars one manvantar look I'll, i'm not going to go in great detail time wouldn't allow i told you last night or night before that the world as we know it goes this creation goes in a cycle of four yugs satyug treta yug dwapar and the age we live in kalyu then it starts again the length of one chatur yug 4 million 320000 years when that is multiplied by 71 that is called one manvantar the age of one manu like swambhu manu the katha we did one night the manu in this age we live is called vaivaswat manu so the age of one manu how long one manu lives for 306 million 720000 years that's one man one third when that is multiplied by 14 that is called a kalp and that is equal to 12 hours of brahma he has 12 hours of day 12 hours of night that's 12 hours one kalp how long is that 12 hours approximately 4.3 billion years that's how long maharas lasted for one brahma ratri one night of brahma and nobody knew all because of the yog maya shakti of bhagwan that which makes the impossible bhagwan applied his yog maya shakti and he had maharas with the gopis for one night of brahma all this that's why it says here all the stars the moon everything stopped they stopped moving everything remained in that way and everybody felt it was one night but it it took how long over 4 billion years that's how long it lasted ek kripal hui bachu jagat mah nischal shail saman and the words of uh, jagat guru tam shri kripalu mahaprabhu is saying like one of us worldly soul that everything is happening like this we were there remember i said whenever god is ascending in the world as shri krishna shri ram we were there also when maharas was going on but nothing happened to us because our heart was like a stone shail saman nothing affected us when all this was happening the basuri never had any effect on us the flute we we'll sing this beautiful bhajan
हो मुरली बजा वत कान मधुर धुनी जंगम जीव भय जर सिगरे जंगम जीव ओ जर जंगम सुनितान मधुर धुनी वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की बासुरी वाला की सो मच जब भगवान 
ये बासुरी बताते थे ये सब बताया ये गोपी बता रही है तो उस पेड़ में कई वहां पक्षी आए तो वो पक्षी ये ऋषि मुनि लोग ने पक्षी बन के आए थे ताकि भगवान के दर्शन कर सकते ऑल द टाइम एक्सप्लेन हियर द गोपीज ऑफ डेम से कथा यू कैन रीड फॉर योर सेल्फ दिस वर्ल्ड विद गोपीज से श्री कृष्ण इज पेन द बासुरी द बेनु it is said the gopis are saying at that time on the branches of the trees many birds came and sat pakshi and that these birds were rishis and munis saints and sages they took the form of these birds these are great vedic rishi muni in that they didn't want bhukti mukti the fruit of the vedas bhukti mukti they wanted to have darshan of shri krishna so they took the form of birds and came and sat in the branches they can be blessed with having that vision of shri krishna infinite bliss infinite beauty a true bhakt devotee bhukti mukti sprihayavat pishachi hridya vartate tavat bhakti sukhasyat katham abhyudayo bhavet bhakti samit sindhu rup goswami the bhakti samit sindhu says he is calling bhukti bhukti means desire for this material world plus heaven combined this is called bhukti and mukti to merge into the formless aspect of shri krishna of god he is calling these two pishachini churail which is demonous as long as these two churail these witches desire for bhukti and mukti in the heart of an individual bhakti mahadevi or the goddess of divine love will never come so devotees also want bhukti mukti they only want bhakti this is why the rishis and munis they have taken the form of birds also and they have come there here in this music yes yeah, say the rivers forgot their flow rivers naturally flow to the ocean inki gati hai samudra ki tarah the rivers naturally they they have love they they have great love with the katha last night of sagar right sagar king sagar so do all rivers naturally have a love for the ocean flows to the ocean they forget to flow they turn around and literally they are trying to embrace shri krishna with their waves it is said that at that time that in the sky when shri krishna would play the basuri many many devutas and devis will come on the divine chariots and the devis they will and start embracing shri krishna with their eyes showering flowers from this from the skies from the chariots fallen they felt so much in love with shri krishna their hearts stolen by the basuri the sound of the basuri and they will fall in love they started praising that govardhan that mountain that shri krishna this is where he would go and graze the cows take them to pasture this govardhan had so many beautiful streams affording shelter food etc to to shri krishna and the cow herds and the cows especially which is so dear to shri krishna the clouds you know shri krishna one of his name is ghanasham this is the one name of shri krishna ghan sham ghan means cloud sham means darkish one whose complexion is like a dark young rain laden cloud darkish complexion so because shri krishna is related to the cloud like this they look upon him also as their their friend their beloved and the cloud will come when he is playing the basuri and give shade to him and the cows etc and all his friends that the sun would not come and beat on him the clouds would come like this every moment this all all this is the magic of that basuri that basuri that venu which i told you is not an ordinary bamboo flute shankar bhagwan himself had become the basuri what is the fortune that gopis are saying what meritus act ये क्या भाग्य है इस बासुरी का 
क्या किया पिछले जन्म में कि हर समय भगवान अपने उधर में ओठ में उसको रखते हैं चूमते हैं द गोपीज आर सिंग इन इंडिया गीत वॉट मेरिट इज अ ग्रेट आर्ट्स दिस बासुरी परफॉर्म इन सम पास इन मेनी ला पास लाइफ टाइम्स टू बी ग्रांटेड दिस ग्रेट फॉर्च्यून ऑफ ऑलवेज हैव इन कॉन्टैक्ट विद द डिवाइन लिप्स of our beloved our supreme beloved shri imagine shri krishna is always that basuri is always on his lips he is always kissing the basuri what did that basuri do to afford it such a great fortune etc so this in the gist i don't want to go on too much more There's so much more it's, who can talk about the glory of this basuri but said is not we have to keep a mind of the time also to so i'll finish the katha here tonight bole bindavan bihari lal ke jay radha rani ke jay shrimad sadguru sarkar ke jay shri bindavan dham ke jay shrimad to venu maharaj ki jay jay shri radhe जय जय श्री राधे जय जय श्री